Hi there, just got the latest Tesla update. 2023.44.30.2. I'm Dominic. This is Drive Electric with Dominic. And we're about to go on a do loop to check out the new changes to FSD beta. All right, before we get going, a couple of things. So first of all, I got this update late last night and I haven't driven the car since it happened. So I just looked down on the screen. I've got this little message. It says enable single pull autopilot, tap to enable. And that's something I will not be doing because this is not, I can just double tap and that's what I prefer because I can single tap and get uh, cruise control, which I like. I like probably more than autopilot actually. And uh, yeah, but uh, let's see. So this single pull autopilot thing is just part of a whole package of updates that uh, Tesla vehicles have got because there was a big recall on autopilot. And uh, so Tesla has included a bunch of updates in, in this, uh, in this update to to address the recall basically so it's supposed to have uh, bigger warnings and uh it's doing this single pull autopilot as well and i guess if you're distracted it's going to have uh, more visible uh signage on the screen here so that you get your attention better and there will probably be more frequent frequent nags to you know put some torque on the steering wheel to you know let the car know that there's somebody in control uh, so i made a video about this a little bit and really kind of looking at the camera which is supposed to monitor the driver's eyes which i don't think mine has been doing at all but this new fix it claims to do that and i'm, I'm going to talk about this in another video coming up uh but i just want to just really quickly touch on this because uh this update because the first part of this update addresses fsd beta which is what we're testing now and this is a great little uh message about uh how to use fsd beta so basically it says Full self-driving is an, is an early limited access beta and must be used with additional caution. It may do the wrong thing at the worst time. So you must always keep your hands on the wheel and pay extra attention to the road. Do not become complacent. When full self-driving is enabled, your vehicle may make, will make lane changes off highway, select forks to follow your navigation route, Navigate around other vehicles and objects and make left and right turns. Using full self-driving in limited beta only, uh, use full self-driving in limited beta only if you will pay constant attention to the road and be prepared to act immediately, especially around blind corners, crossing intersections, and in narrow driving situations. Okay, so if you paid $17,000 like some people have for full self-driving beta, it doesn't full self-drive. That's not what you're paying for right now. You're paying for some future functionality which may or may not come. And it's a little cheaper now. I think it's, is it 11,000? I don't know. It's a lot of money. My car has full self-driving beta because it came with a car, I bought it used, and the people who had the car didn't really understand, you know, the value of it, I guess, on the on the market. And, you know, so I, I got a good deal on, on the car and it was just included and they didn't really know about it. And, so now I'm doing this test loop. So I'm going to test to see if any of these um, uh, changes improve. There's a bunch of changes to FSD beta itself, uh, but they're you know small incremental changes like five percent here and this, three percent this and that. Um, but we're going to test out to see if any of these uh, autopilot uh, changes to meet the recall have uh, altered the FSD beta experience at all. So yeah, without further ado, let's get these the uh, camera set up and get out on the road. All right, here we go. We are navigating to College Town on my dude loop. Let's see, drive electric with Dominic, uh, FSD beta test loop. And it uh, didn't actually make a sound that time when I hit my FSD. Usually it makes a sound, but the blue steering wheel is up there, so I know it's in control. And uh, we got cars coming. No, another oh, car coming, and I just stepped on the brake. The car actually turned, but my car didn't know that, and it didn't have its turn signal on. Okay, I need to get, I need to accelerate through the intersection to activate again. I've activated again, no sound. I just slowed down a little bit because of the car coming towards me. I'm not sure what, I'll, what okay. We're approaching the traffic circle, first traffic circle. Uh, and there's a car coming in the circle and it waited for it, that's good. I'm covering the brake with my foot, ready to hit the brake just in case it pulled out in front of that, but it did not. And 
and it went through here properly. Alright, and it's doing this like it should. I got my first uh, nag, or warning to, you know, apply some torque to the steering wheel. I just adjusted the uh, volume control and it does the same thing. It just lets the car know that uh, somebody's in control. All right, I believe the visualizations have changed a little bit now, so we can, we'll just put this full screen. I don't know if you can see that well on this camera, but definitely different, a little more rich. Hopefully it's more accurate. I'll just pull it back over here, apply a slight turning force to steering wheel, which I did. Okay, now we should be turning right up here. I should put in turn signals just been activated. And it's making the turn. Just a taste wide for, for for me personally on that. Did cross the line. I stayed it was in the lines, but it was it was kind of not centered. But I'm not so far so good. To, uh, increase the, the, the speed just a little bit. This is a 30 mile an hour road and no one really drives 30 miles an hour and, I, and I've got cars on my tail. Just upped it a little bit to 34 as we go down this hill. So far so good. Apply turning force. Okay. So the nags are there. I'm tempted to try out my uh, cam camera monitoring. I might do that on, I think I'm going to do that on another video actually. Just keep it separate from this new loop FSD beta. This is really testing what the car does not really well, how well it monitors driver behavior. We got a green light coming up and there's cars at the intersection. is hovering over the brake, getting ready to touch that brake, or possibly the, the accelerator as well. Sometimes we need to press the accelerator to get it moving. Another nag. Maybe I should call them driver attention prompts instead of nags, because nag has negative connotations. I guess some people think of them as a, being a negative thing. Some people think of them as being a positive thing because, you know, it's, it's just the car, the system making sure that you know, the driver is paying attention and being safe. All right, so it's interesting here. There's some turn lanes in this road here and it's, uh, it's following the, the lines pretty well. I think the uh, previous version of this had some troubles with that. I can't re quite remember what they were. It's been a few weeks, a couple months maybe actually, a month and a half. It's been a while since uh, I got an update. All right, big intersection coming up here. Another, another nag is there. The light's gonna be red when we get down to the bottom. So last time we did this, the car went and took a shortcut. Well, there's some confusion it, it just totally bobble this whole intersection. So we can choose either, either of these two lanes to get in and either of them will work. They're both left hand turning lanes. Well, the, the, the right lane, you can go, oh, it's, oh, it doesn't know what it, it started to get in the right lane, crossing a solid line, which it should not do. And then it changed its mind. I didn't, uh, I had my hand, I was about to put some force to stop it from doing that. But then it, it stopped on its own and steered itself back into this lane. So that's kind of bizarre. I'm not sure what's up with that. So this intersection, for whatever reason, is causing the, the car some issues, causing the, uh, the system some issues. Yeah, for the longest time, it didn't do that. It just went in this left-hand lane and you know went through perfectly fine. But yeah, since the last update, it's, uh, it's kind of confused by this intersection. 
which it's a uh, pretty pretty straightforward intersection here except just just so there's a we could go straight or well, that, that lane could go straight but we can also turn left and just after we turn left if we were in that lane we could take an immediate right which would be the kind of like the shortcut that we took the last time because the car totally bobbled and found this put itself on that road somehow i think i think it was actually by mistake and then um, you know it was still able to complete the route so yeah anyway we'll see what happens this time still got the red light i'm interesting looking at this uh i don't know if you can see this on the screen oh it made the screen big and so it's got my I've got my left turn signal on, so it's got the left uh, camera showing on the screen. Oop, here we go, green light. And it's following the white line, staying in this. Okay, no one right beside me. And it's going to signal and go over the lane. It should signal and make the next lane change as well. Which it's doing. I'm not hearing any sounds from the car. There's no like uh, signal sound. Anyway, so we're doing okay. We're going to take a right up ahead at the light. That will put us on Stadium Drive. Turn right here, turn signal. There we go, turn signal. A little bit late turn on the turn signal, I think. It seemed like, I don't know, 25 feet or so before the intersection. Okay, we're in the right lane. Looks like we're staying here. Got a nag that applies turning force. Got a red light coming up, and it's slowing down. Good. Sitting at the red light. Interesting on the screen, it's showing like this yellow, some yellow lines, like there's a median. Maybe there's a median. Oh, yeah, there is a median way over there. It's, yeah, it's capturing that median <laughs> with pretty good fidelity, actually. Got an egg right away. Okay. Let me just hit the volume button real quick on the left hand turning left hand turning wheel. Steering wheel turning knob thingy. <laughs> That's the technical term. Okay. Got a bicycle lane coming up here on our right, so there's no adjust. It's centering in the lane. The speed limit here is 35. We're doing 36. That's fine. Everyone else is going faster. People are going around me. That's fine. I am in the proper lane right now because after this next light, we need to get in the right hand lane. Oh, we got a red light coming up. We're going to be in the red light here. Okay. I got an egg just as we approach the light. Okay, so I'm going to end this trip and then navigate to my next point. 401 gains which is down the street from where I need to go and it looks like I'm all set up to do that properly now and that should keep me in the, in the proper lane which would be the far right lane as we go, go through this intersection it should move over to that lane We're shooting this on a Wednesday, by the way. Wednesday, December 20th. As I said, I just got the download last night. It's uh, what, almost two o'clock in the afternoon.
This is a long light. Okay. Anytime now, lights. Anytime. Maybe I should edit out a minute of this. <laughs> Here we go, green light. Okay, what's it gonna do? It's gonna get in this, go straight ahead and get in that lane, but needs to get in that right lane. And it's not doing it, and I have a car coming up behind me in that right lane. It's gonna make it difficult for it to get where it needs to be. This could be interesting. Another neg, which I just cancelled. Yeah, this is the this is not the lane we need to be in. We need to be in that right lane, and now it's going to have to cut into a bunch of traffic in order to do that. I'm not very comfortable with that. I think that's uh, yeah, it's just not good planning, road planning. Picked up the lines on the other side of the intersection, no problem. Oh, and it's getting over. It's oh, it's <laughs> interjecting itself into the traffic flow. It's interesting. That's well, that was a good move. And we are doing the speed limit. And we get a green light coming up now. Just on the other side of this green light, we get a phantom braking uh, situation happening on the regular. So I'm looking out for that to happen. Oh, there it is, a little bit. Uh, not bad though, it didn't like slam on the brake last time, it was very significant slam on the brakes kind of situation. The car behind me had, had to slam on the brakes, you know, stop from running to the back of me, and I remember seeing the passengers head bob forward. Okay, approaching the second traffic circle, didn't really slow down a whole lot into that, and now it's stopping right in the traffic circle, which is terrible. And it's gone through, which is fine. That was a little aggressive entering, the traffic circle and by the time it thought to look or I don't know if it was looking before then but yeah it kind of came to almost a stop in in the road instead of before entering the traffic circle but uh, okay that's a fail you can't stop the traffic circle Okay, got pedestrian lights going off here and it's not I'm hitting the brakes yeah see didn't I got pedestrian lights on both sides of the road flashing I got a pedestrian going and the uh, car did not feel like it was gonna slow down so I intervened okay FSD activated again going forward and it's slowing down I need to put in a new waypoint in here it's hitting the brakes sharply, a Prius way up ahead of us. I think it saw that and kind of a little sharp hit of the brake for just for a second and then released and we're going again. Not a very smooth experience and unnecessary really. Okay, we got our next waypoint in and we are going after the light turns green. <sighs> Okay, we're all set. The other direction is going to have a, an advanced light. There they go. And we should be green any second. There we go, green and go. Awesome. This person standing in the median here. I don't know if I Car is kind of slowing down for them a little bit. It's not sure what it's doing. Okay, now it's speeding back up. It's kind of 
see. Speed limit is only 25 here. That's what's going on. Oh, it's slowing down for no reason. <laughs> or no good reason. We need to take a left in two, two, two lights. So not this light, but this next one. So it should turn, put the turn signals on and get another, yep, there we go. Get in the turning lane. Not very well though, it didn't really. Now we got a green light and we need to go and this car is coming so, oh, man. That's a very uncomfortable maneuver there, I think, crossing that intersection. Very unnatural. Came to a complete stop. It should have, yeah. We'll have to look back to the tape, but it was just unnatural and not great. Not a fail. All right, so we need to put in the next waypoint, which is Fourth Avenue here. Get another nag. All right, we're set for next little while. Staying in this middle lane, which is good. So, if it was me, I would be actually, I would be in this middle lane for right now just because the car is parked along the side of the road on this street. Kind of like, uh, you know, we're, going, we're going into the right lane, which is kind of what I would do right about here, actually. So, the right side is now unencumbered by parked cars. Little braking action that you can't really see in the cameras here and there, but it's kind of like, like this a little bit back there, or just a you know, 40 feet. Okay, traffic here, but we got the green light. And we're going through. This is the best lane to be in for this intersection, with the eventual right hand turn up the up the way. So that's good. In the past, it's gone in the left hand lane. Get another bag. So some improvements. It's hitting the oh, we got the over oh, hitting the hitting the accelerator. We got these overhead flashing yellows, and it, it put on the uh, brakes for that a little bit. But I had the car behind me. I didn't want to see if it would come to a complete stop because that would be irresponsible. All right, so we need to get over into the left-hand lane a bit here. Okay, not in the turning lane. Good. We need to make this next. Is it, okay, no, it's the. Not this first right, but the next right after that. It's gonna make. We're gonna make a right hand turn, and then I'm gonna need to uh, change to my next navigation point real quick. Let's see, I've got some. Put on your turn signal. Okay, there it is. Turn signal's on. I may have to put the accelerator a little bit to speed us up because cars come up behind me and this is really slow okay now, interesting this car has to wait for me to get through here get the next waypoint in did that all right got an egg it's fine all right so now we're uh, the navigation set to take us around Lake Ella like it's supposed to be okay this is the uh, unprotected left so it's going to pull up and it's just pulled out in front of a car. I was ready to hit the accelerator, but it kind of did it okay. I might have waited for that or moved a little more quickly to begin with, actually. That's what I would have done. Okay, we'll need to get in the right hand lane next, and it's doing that. It's kind of aggressive. It's like cutting in front of cars. I mean, it's signaling first and speeding up a little bit. Uh, yeah. But it's definitely more, I feel like some the more aggressive driving kind of style than it was or has been in the past. 
So we need for the green light. Green light. Here we go. We'll be making the next right up ahead and turn into the uh, Lake Ella Drive. This is a really kind of narrow little drive with cars parked on both sides of the lane. It goes around the lake, searching along, it's making the turn. People drive here kind of slow, the speed limit is 25, but even that's a little bit fast, I feel, for this road. Because there's kids and ducks and everything around. I have my foot covering the brake. waypoint as well. Okay. Yes, I've got it in here properly now. Okay. There's no cars coming. It's got a yield sign here. And it just totally failed. For one, this road is closed, so we can't even go here. But it just kind of barreled through. It had a yield sign, and it did not yield. I was watching to make sure nothing was coming. So I allowed it to fail. But that was a big fail. It should slow it should, should see the yield sign, slow down, and you know, I don't know if that took enough time to look to see what was coming up the hill and, and also around the corner. I mean I could tell with my eyes, but it was a little quick for my my taste. Okay. So to get out of here. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the end of our test actually. Uh, actually, I'll maybe try the same waypoint and endpoint, but uh, not going around the lake. We'll just go down North Glen Row. Up and on, yeah, I'm driving now, so I need to put search signals on myself. So we'll go down uh, here, keep that same endpoint, and we'll see if it uh, how it decides to take us. Yeah, it's not going to take us around the lake it's going to go the other way to get us to the uh, parking lot by Lake Ella. This is a neat, neat little feature so when you turn on your turn signal it shows the repeater of your uh, the camera on the front right fender get the right turn signal on and usually it's over here but you can also slide it over here so it's closer to your field of vision All right, we get the green slowly going. Okay, and this is the lane that we need to be in. Got a little nag. Okay. I think it's gonna take this next right hand turn. Slowing down now, turn signal. And it's. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's good enough. Pull in. And it's not limiting speed, height, max speed for off for road type. Okay, it's like. <laughs> drive me around this parking lot. And. A little, a little fast for in the parking lot for my taste. And it's stopping here, which is. Kind of where it likes to stop generally on, on my uh, on this navigation, so that's consistent at least. So, autopilot disengaged. What happened? I reached the end of my route, and congratulations, we've both successfully completed another dude loop. All right, let's get out and uh, maybe talk about what's going on here. All right, all right. So that completes. Hey, car. Okay, so that completes another dude loop. Uh, this is on version 2023.44.30.2. The point two is like a little little minor fixes update. So, yeah, it's not really important to the main number. But anyway, yeah, we're here at Lake Ella. And so this ride was pretty decent. It, did, it still had a, a couple fails. Uh, nothing life-threatening. Well, you know, actually... <laughs> going through the okay yeah going through the closed road thing not great that total fail also not stopping for pedestrians at the, the flashing pedestrian lights fail 
stopping in a traffic circle also fail. Uh, yeah, there were some good improvements as well though, minor improvements. Uh, overall, a little bit smoother I think, a little bit more, yeah just a little bit better but still, it's still failing. And this is the year that the uh, FSD beta was supposed to you know, reach version 12 and be full self-driving for reals. According to uh, CEO Elon Musk earlier this summer of this year, he said by the end of this year, you know, just anyway, that's not happening. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it ever happens. Uh, but if it does, we'll let you know because we'll be testing it here on, on the loop. All right, until next one. See ya. Ciao.